here with Chris Bergeron. Miami drops a 5-3 to three decision to number 6 Western Michigan. And, Coach, that third period swing, you get a goal to equalize, and then they come back about a minute later. What did you see kind of the way the momentum flipped back and forth on those plays? Uh, well, it started with their, their, their third goal was – uh, pretty poor execution on the penalty kill for us. It was uh, – uh, I'd have to watch the play to see the tripping call, um, but I, I didn't think it was anything egregious on our part, so I don't think that was the, the issue that, that happens. Um, but we had the puck six, eight feet inside our blue line and couldn't get it out. And then, like great teams do, um, three passes later, it's in our net. Um, we didn't – lose focus we didn't lose our way found a way to tie it up and then um you know the way we handled their fourth goal was obviously pretty disappointing um from a, a couple of individuals out there um and then you know I, I i'm not sure the fifth empty net goal is two minutes to go it's a one goal game we've got the extra attacker and we pass the puck directly to the other team for an empty net goal i, I i'm not sure how to comment on that. that that's that's a tough one second game in a row you get off to a good start this one in the first minute you get a goal and um, what did you see in that first minute and especially in the first period with a couple early goals yeah I saw a group that was ready to ready to come and play um, five minutes to go in the first period it's two nothing game for us and um, I'm not I'm not exactly sure what their first goal was but um, we just we're just a group that doesn't doesn't seem totally comfortable with the lead. We haven't had the lead, um, and then you know parts of the second period we got really loose there from the five minute mark, maybe the fifteen minute mark, and they really took it to us. Um, but I just I, I see a team that doesn't obviously doesn't know how to play with the lead, and that's the way we played. And we were just hanging on. Can you touch on the success of the Cassetti Daskus Pletsky line all weekend? In particular, Chase seemed like he was all over the ice. Yeah, he he. Um, you know, we've been kind of waiting for Chase to put it all together because the skills are there, the skating is there. Um, we think the, the the hockey sense is there. It's just kind of putting it all together. Uh, this weekend he did that. Um, you know, I, I think I think Cassetti was, was better last night than tonight, but I, I have to watch the tape. And, and Daskus is somebody that we just, we need more from. You know, Chase, Chase was the engine with that line for sure. And then can you touch on the physicality? It's obviously something you mentioned last week, and it seemed this weekend your team brought it a lot more. Yeah. Um, you know, I think a rivalry like Western Michigan it brings it out in you, and, and, and you, you know, we, we didn't – I can honestly tell you we didn't focus on playing more physical over the course of practice. We want to be a more physical team. We have some guys that aren't naturally physical players, so we're trying to get them to, to understand that it's a decision. You can be more physical. Um, and I thought for the most part this weekend we did that against a really physical team. You talk about the physicality, but also the activity. 30 block shots tonight for Miami, and felt like the defense was everywhere a lot of times making plays and kind of yeah. giving up their body. What did you see there? Well, for me, Tim, the one thing that has taken us a while through this transition is defending. Uh, I know defending takes talent, especially when you're when you're defending some of the top forwards in the country, uh, like we do every night uh, in our league. And, and uh, there's just there's just again we we, we we cannot keep pucks out of our net. Um, another five tonight. It's, it's just not. I know the empty net, but that matters. You know, uh, I, I like the fact. Typically, when you're selling out to block shots for the team and for one another and so on and so forth, it's a good thing. It shows that res that that defending mentality. Um, and 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 Western Michigan just just comes at you. So I I, I I'm 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 proud of our group for that. But it's something that uh, you know it, it is an indicator that they have the puck a lot more than us too. Uh, yeah, we. Um we kind of see the game in, uh, or the period in four segments, and um, uh, we try to win each segment, and we try to start off hard, and obviously it's good to get a goal in the first uh, couple seconds. Uh, and, uh, well, I just try to get it on net, and it's... And good things happen when you get the puck in that. Yeah, it felt like you had some good screens at the net. Ryan Savage on that first one, Barbellini later, and able to kind of get some action in front of the goaltender and kind of create some chances that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we always talk about having one guy obviously in front of the net and um, and trying to get the pucks through from the from the blue line. And uh, as I said, good things happen when you when you manage to do that. 
a big game from Ludwig back after missing a couple. He had a lot of saves back there. What did you see from him in his play? Um, well, um, we kind of rely on good uh, on, on a good goalie. Um, uh, our, our defense the couple, last couple of day, games has been uh, not as good, and the scores would probably be higher unless we had uh, Neitz yesterday and uh, Ludwig today playing pretty good hockey. Uh, uh, but it, it comes down to our defense, uh, all the goals we let in. Can you touch on your pairing with Dylan? Uh, you guys blocked six shots and had four shots on that combined. Seems like you guys have some pretty good chemistry out there. Uh, yeah, uh, we've been we've been playing together for a while now. Um, we're um, I'm a righty, and he's a lefty. Uh, we play together in the, in the power play too. So. And we, we have a good communication, and uh, obviously it helps that we're uh, good friends off the ice. So a good chemistry, yeah, that's for sure. Two really competitive games this weekend. What can you take from this series going into next Sunday at Mercyhurst? Um, I think our attitude. Um, we, played, um, we played with a lot more grit, uh, a lot more attitude, uh, more passion. Uh, and it comes down to... Uh, well, it comes down. To, we 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 earned some more bounces uh, than we got, uh, but yeah, we our attitude. Can you kind of touch on the physicality? It's something that kind of emerged this week with guys like you, Joey, and uh, Chase really stepping up and delivering a lot of hits. Uh, yeah, like uh, we we kind of see it as like um, college hockey is a what's to say like a big man sport. Um, we try to make uh, it. You got to be hard on the puck and off the puck. We try to uh, uh, play stick on puck and play through the body. That's uh, uh, a saying that we have, and that we a bunch of guys this weekend actually. Oh well, we we did. That's uh, it's it's important for our game to uh, play with physicality because uh, that's how we break down our opponents.